All right, Marty Lurie here at KMBR 680 with the man of the weekend. And uh, what a major league career you had, and that is Tim Hudson. How do you like these festivities? Well, I mean, you know, it's, uh, I'm very grateful for it. You know, obviously this isn't something that, that I really anticipated or expected, but, you know, the uh, you know my teammates have done an unbelievable job trying to help, you know, make these last couple of weeks feel special. And, you know, the organization here has been awesome along the way. So um, a little uncomfortable being put in the, in the light like that, but, uh, but I am very grateful. But, but the fans, uh, you know, look, you all the years in Oakland, and I was there from the first day, 11 strikeouts against the Padres and all the great games you pitched. And I remember you come in with Atlanta. You're always on the show. And But in two years, it's like you're a giant for 20. <laughs> you know what, man? It, this is a special place here. Uh, it really is, you know, and I've noticed. I, I knew that before I even signed here. And, um, you know, my teammates have been awesome. You know, it's something that I, I, you know, I've made some really close friends here over the last couple of years. And. Uh, you know, it does feel like I've been here for a while, even though it's only yes. been two years. So it's, uh, but I think that just, uh, it just goes to show you, you know, what kind of organization this is and how awesome my teammates are. So you look back on the career a little bit, and I know you're going to be smoking a cigar in an Auburn game in about 20 years on a Saturday and at uh, Jordan Hare Stadium, if I have it right, and the Gators will be there and uh, you'll be rooting against the Gators and you'll say 222 wins. Wow. Yeah, you know what? I've been very blessed and lucky. Um, you know, I've been fortunate to play on some really good teams along the way and have some awesome teammates. And, uh, you know, as a result of that, I've been able to, to you know, go out there and win some ball games. Um, you know, obviously it's something that I, us starting pitchers, we can't do it on our own. We go out there and we have nine, eight guys behind us helping us be successful. And, um, you know, I just feel very blessed. I've been able to be relatively healthy over the years yeah. and play on some really good teams. And I'm just glad that I could pull my part. Yeah, and the other part is uh, everyone wants to win a World Series. And you got to win a World Series, but you got to start Game 7 of the World Series. I mean, whatever happened, happened. But you were the guy picked to start Game 7. You know what, it was, uh, it was yeah, it's funny how things unfolded. Um, you know, I've never uh, been past the first round in the playoffs, and there I was not only getting past the first round here with the Giants, but being able to have two starts in the World Series, and one of them happened to be Game 7. Uh, you know, it's just uh, very lucky, very blessed, um, very fortunate to you know, that my road in baseball brought me here to San Francisco, and, um, you know, I, I feel very happy for it. So what's the future for you? What's the immediate future other than doing a little fishing? Well, a lot of that. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just a lot of hanging out with the family. You know, I think, you know, the, the, the first year or so after I retire, you know, I'm just going to try to get plugged back in with, you know, a lot of my friends and family back home and just try to catch up on some, you know, some time that baseball kind of took away from me over the years. And, uh, you know, after that, we'll just see what happens. Now you have another moment coming up. Uh, they're going to honor you again this weekend. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's something that, you know, like I say, I'm very grateful for. I didn't expect it, never anticipated it, but, um, you know, this organization has been a first-class organization, you know, from day one, and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's nothing that, um, you know, like I said, I anticipated or, or, or expected, but very grateful for it. So I'm trying to think, if I wanted a picture of Tim Hudson, I want to show someone in 20 years Tim Hudson, I guess it would be the follow-through, the ball going to the plate and disappearing right at the knees. <laughs> well, That's your pitch. Well, you know, I wish I had more of those this year. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't quite have as many of those this year as I would have liked, but... Um, but you know what, if, uh, you know, I've been, uh, like I said, you know, I've been very lucky to been able to go out there and be healthy and, and, and you know, I have a passion for the game. I've always had a passion for the game and, and I think when I go out there and take the mound, you know, regardless where I was in my career, um, you know, I felt like I, I laid it all out there and did whatever I could to try to help the team win. Yeah, and you made a mark in all the cities. Someone pointed that out on TV the other day. Said, you know, the guys in Oakland made his mark Atlanta for sure and here for sure not many people do that some people get traded all over the place and then you say gee he pitched in Philadelphia we don't remember that yeah. well you know I think I've been lucky to play on some teams that had a big impact uh, you know they have had success and you know I think with that comes uh, you know some notoriety with that team uh, you know obviously last year we won a World Series and it was a huge deal for me it was something I look forward to in my career all you know the whole time I finally achieved that and uh, you know, but it's uh, like I said, you know, I've been very lucky to be able to play on some, 
some teams that were good and some organizations that were awesome. And um, you know, I couldn't have uh, I couldn't have, have asked to to end my career in a, in a more special place than here in San Francisco. All right, one last thought. How'd you like the Zito matchup? How'd you like that? It was fun. <laughs> it, it was fun. Obviously, it wasn't the one to nothing pitchers duel that we envisioned coming in. <laughs> But uh, but you know what? It was very fun. I mean, he, he was a great friend. He is a great friend and was a great teammate for a lot of years. And, you know, to look out there and see him on the mound uh, on a game where I'm starting against him was, was something that was pretty special. Oh, you want to say something about Affelt, who's also retiring? Yeah, you know, Jeremy, was a great, he's a great friend and, and was a great teammate for me the last couple of years. Uh, you know, I competed against him a lot of years. Uh, you know, in the other dugout, yeah. and to have uh, been teammates with him for a couple of years has been really awesome. And you know, he's a great uh, he's a great example for everybody in baseball. Um, yeah. You know what he does, and you know, on and off the field is something that's really special. All right, a pleasure, and I'll see you at a football game. Thank you, baby. War Eagle. All right.